Hey fellow hygienists, we've created for you a quick code reference guide so when you are sitting in doing the exam with the dentist, you can quickly refer to this sheet if you don't know a code and you can input it into the computer. Um, I use this often, I put it in a sheet protector and I keep it with me in my operatory because there are times when I cannot find a code in the computer system because there are many codes and a lot of them are not named what we have been taught. So we've created this for you. To go through it, at the top here you can see that there are preventive codes that we use daily, your periodontic codes, um, a new one that you might see on there, gingival irrigation, which is new in 2014, so we should start using it so that we can hopefully get some compensation for our patients. Um, then over here to the right, you can see that this is your composite restorations, anterior, posterior, amalgam, and inlay. And then it tells you how many surfaces. There's a, not a four surface inlay, so that's why that one's not there. Um, you can see this one's endodontic, so if they have to do a anterior root canal, premolar or molar, or if they need to retreat that root canal, here are the codes. Um, sometimes if the caries reaches um, pretty far to the um, nerve of the tooth. Uh, sometimes they will do a direct or indirect pulp cap depending on how close it is to help prevent the sensitivity. Um, hopefully that, that won't end up being a root canal. Um, if we go down a little bit farther we can see that there are imaging codes here for you to utilize. Interoral photos is one that we should be using. Over on the right you can see that there are the crowns that I posted for you. Um, one thing that hygienists don't know oftentimes is to put a buildup always with the crown. Um, if the crown, if the tooth has not had a root canal, you'll want to do the buildup with pins code. If it has had a root canal, usually they'll have to put a post in for more support, and that's where you'll use this 2954 code. You can also see on the right that I've put some exam codes on there for you, six month checkup a limited emergency visit, or if there's like a periodontal infection the dentist wants you to check, new patient exam, new patient exam with perio, soft tissue evaluation, follow-up, so if your patient has a um, lesion from a cancer screening and you want to bring it back in two weeks, that's the one you'll use. Uh, this one you will use if you're doing a post-operative visit potentially on your periodontal therapy patient. This is a new code this year, so uh, we might be able to use it for those four to six week re-evaluations and get some compensation. Here are your extraction codes. Make sure you ask the dentist which type of extraction it will be to get the right code for the patient. There's the maxillary denture code. As we come down a little bit farther, we can see that here are some implant codes. The placement, the abutment, the crown, the implant crown, and if they have to do a bone graft. Here are the bridge codes. Uh, this is the one that is the fake tooth. This is a gold one. This is the one that's the fake tooth for like a white bridge. Um, also here's your pedo codes, like a quick reference guide for pedo codes, stainless steel crowns, um, space maintainers, primary tooth extraction. And then if your office use any, uses any specific codes that you want to input on there as well to refer to often, I made a little space for you to do that. Hope this helps.